Hi guys, it's Tom here on Wahoo. So I set a few crab pots. I've only got six out at the moment. Two strings of three. Uh, they've been soaking for a week now, so I'm just gonna go and check them, see if there's anything in them. Enjoy the video. The lobster in there, folks. Don't know if it's big enough, though.
Right, let me just get away from this reef here and then I'll, uh, we'll take a look at the pots. Number one, uh, nada, 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 nada. Still no bird doggy there. Pot number two. A lobster. Be close to being in size. Got my gauge here. From the back of the eye socket there. If it overlaps this part, which is called the carapace, carapace. That is a female in, that lobster. I forgot to look under, under this lobster earlier. This lobster is a buried female, a buried hen, they call them. So uh, she's going to go back. It's actually crazy, you're legally allowed to keep these in, in Guernsey waters, but uh, I, I certainly don't agree with that, so I'm going to put this. It's to keep a lobster, but because she's She's about to lay her eggs for the future. We're going to put her back. Off she goes. What else we got in here? Some seaweed, of course. And a small, small edible brown crab. This will be undersized. I'll just show you on the gauge. So you can see, put your arm down mate, you're going back anyway. There's a female there on the left hand side of the gauge. If the shell's covering, if the shell's completely covering the gauge it's in size but that one's female out so see you later buddy, see you next year. That's it for pot two I think. That's it for pot two. Pot three. What we got? We got a keeper. A keeper brown crab here. Oh, he hasn't got any. Uh, hasn't got any claws. Looks like it's a male. You can tell it's a male by this uh, <coughs> very thin, triangular shaped lower part here if it's more rounded it's a female but this one's been fighting but he's lost his claws a while ago because you can see they've they've capped off there still feeding happily though so i'm not going to keep this one when he next uh when he next sheds his shell we have to shed their shells to grow when he next sheds his shell It'll start growing those back, hopefully. But I don't want to keep that one, so uh, put him back. He'll be all right. See you later, buddy. That is it. That's it for pot three. So 
so I'm going to rebate these three now and uh, set them back. So I've uh, I've tied up all the there are a few holes there are a few holes in these, but I've uh, I've tied them up tied them up. So hopefully hopefully there aren't any holes left. So what I've got in these guys, I've just added one of these snaps that I use for my long lines, just uh, just to hang the bait in the middle, and I've just put some elastic. I just put some elastic there, just to hook hook it onto that. That keeps the bait in the middle of the pot and away from claws reaching reaching through the pot to get at the bait. Nice big pollock heading guts here. I don't know if you can see in there. I know I've got some elastic under there to keep the bait in the middle of the pot. So hopefully claws won't be claws won't be going in there. And then in this top pocket here, I'm going to uh, stuff a bit of bait. Usually a nice dogfish head. There he goes. Add an extra bit of scent in there. There you go. Pot number one. Sorry, pot number three. Well, it's going back in first. This pot, ready to go. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't reach the sides of the pot. It's very well secured in there. Dogfish head. There he goes. Add an extra bit of scent in there. See the old bait's been absolutely hammered there. Okay, they're ready to set. They're ready to set back now, so let's go and do it.
Cross the knees then. <sighs> Pot number four. We've got a few keeper brown crab in here, if I let sting. This guy's too small. Maybe. Too small. Too small. Not a bad size on that one. That's a keeper. Anything else in here? Too small. Too small. And too small. Some weed. Some weed. A lot of weed. Weed in the weed in the entrance. Weed in the pot. Weed in the other entrance. Right, that's pot one. Let's just. Pop these crabs in the tank. Let's just measure them. That one is a keeper. This one's definitely a keeper. This annoying guy who keeps hanging on to stuff, this guy, also in. Into the tank he goes. Loves hanging on to stuff, that one. Okay, put five. <clears throat> Too small. Too small. Keeper. Well in. Dead. Too small. Little velvet swimming crab and too small. Six pot. Small spider. Too small. Too small. Too s He's just in that one. Too small. No claws. Too small. And we've got a couple of lobsters, but they're baby ones, I'm afraid. Little babbies. Let's 
full babbies. No point in measuring them. Another one there. Back you go. So that's it, no keeper lobster I'm afraid. We put back that buried female and uh, let's rebait these and get them back. Oh, that's good on this one. Ugh.
Okay guys, we're now back in the harbour. Bit of a rush to get in there because of the uh, tide, but we got there. So, we've got a crab in the tank here. I don't know if you can see that. So, I'm just gonna pop these guys out. <coughs> 